सुरू करू मला वाटतं इथून काही सुरू करायला नाही 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 आधी एक मग कर हॅलो गुड आफ्टरनून एव्हरीबडी हाव आर यू हाव इज युअर हेल्थ ओके आय होप दॅट यू आर टेकिंग से लॉट ऑफ केअर अँड यू मस्ट कमिंग टू टुडेज प्रॅक्टिकल सॉरी बेग युअर पार्ट दॅट इज टुडेज टॉपिक लास्ट लेक्चर वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट दॅट इज द ब्लड प्रेशर अँड वी हॅव कम्प्लिटेड रेग्युलेशन ऑफ ब्लड प्रेशर लेटर ऑन आय हॅव स्टार्टेड द टॉपिक ऑन आर्टरियल पल्स बट आय हॅव रिसिव्ह सम ऑफ द से दॅट इज कम्प्लेन दॅट यू आर नॉट able to see the slide okay now just i will i would like to say that is the summarize that topic in brief, briefly okay now you can see here that is what do you mean by the arterial pulse it is nothing but the rhythmical expansion of the arterial wall caused by the systolic rise in pressure is called as arterial pulse or in other words say the alternate expansion an elastical require of an artery which occurs with each systole of the left ventricle is called the pulse now where do we feel the pulse pulse is felt at say any superficial artery pulse is strongest in the arteries closest to the heart and it becomes weaker as it passes over the arteries as the blood passes say across the arterial system that is across the arteries and the artery the pulse may be felt in, in any superficial artery near the body surface over the bone or other firm tissues for example say radial artery which is present over the radial bone so we can also feel that is venous pulse but that we need some instrumentation for that now the arterial pulse can be easily felt with say the three digits of say our hand that is mean that the index finger middle finger and that is the distal finger that you will learn say later on now these are the various types of the superficial say arteries which are present in our body superficial temporal artery which is present temporal bone then facial artery lower border of the mandible the common carotid artery brachial artery at the upper arm radial artery at the radial bone then femoral artery at the groin and there is popliteal artery back of the knee posterior tibial artery say and present over tibial say that is the bone and dorsal is pedis which is present in front of our say that is the foot now this also explains here say that is the their location but somehow here you will find that there are other arteries uh, say that is the artery what we call as occipital artery ulnar artery radial artery and subclavian artery now say now how do we feel the artery we have to palpate I mean we have to feel the art but it is a digital method I mean we are using here say that is the say fingers of our hand or digits of our hand now you can see here say that, the, that is the last figure here it is the posterior say that is the tibular art how it is felt it is felt by or it is palpated by here say that is three digits that is for index finger middle finger and distal finger similarly you can see here that here it is shown here the say other types of the methods also say by which we can say palpate radial artery brachial artery popliteal artery dorsal spidis artery but we will follow say this method say that is as shown in the posterior tibial say that a tibial artery that we have to palpate here with that is three digits of our hand mean that is the index finger then middle finger and that is the distal finger now you can see the location of say that is the various say types of the artery what you can see here say femoral artery then say that is the uh, popliteal artery dorsal spidis artery and posterior say that is the tibial say artery now there are some of the say characteristics of say that is the artery which i have mentioned that is about the rate rhythm strength amplitude tension of the pulse and condition and equality equality means that is if you are say that is palpating radial artery on the right hand you have to palpate it on the left hand mean that it will show the same characteristics or the same properties of that is the pulse now there is one term what we call as a pulse deficit 
Normally we consider this pulse say rate is in the range of say 70 to 80 bits, bits per minute and similarly say that we consider that assume that it is equivalent to our heart rate. How we determine the heart rate? We determine or auscultate the heart rate uh, that is with the help of a stethoscope that is the bell of the stethoscope which is put over the left fifth intercostal pace at the apex and we determine here say that is the heart rate. But it is observed that say means before that just try to understand may it is assumed that our pulse rate should say that is match with actual heart rate which we are counting or just determining with stethoscope. But many of the times it is observed that say very rarely we observe a difference between the heart rate or heard or felt by stethoscope and a pulse counted at the risk. I mean you will find the difference between these two say that is the event and this is what we call it as a pulse division. When does it occur? It occurs when some of the ventricular contractions are too weak to open the aortic valves and hence produce a beat at the heart but not at the wrist. Just try to understand. <coughs> Many of the time, <coughs> say there is ventricular contractions are too weak and that will say not open the aortic walls and hence they produce a beat at the heart which is not propagated at the series. Hence we find a difference between the heart rate counted by the stethoscope and the pulse counted at the wrist. Now this is the radial say, pulse. We can obtain say that is a graphical say record. We are having one instrument in our department. What is what we call a student say that is the uh, uh, physiograph by which we can record here that is the say that is the pulse the arterial pulse that is the radial pulse that what we are recording here now you can see here say upstroke and downstroke upstroke indicates here is say from A to P indicates here say ascending limb that is called the anachronic limb and the say downstroke indicates here say that is the diacrotic say the diacrotic that is the diacrotic say that is the limb that is called limb from P to B is the diacrotic now there are some of the events which are produced here in this radial pulse that in the graphical record that we will explain it in the practice. Then comes here say that is very after that we have stopped here that is say uh, means completed here that is topic on that is the radial that is the radial pulse or that is the arterial pulse. Now what so far we have learned? We have learned a lot of things about the heart that is it's a structure its function, its important role which is play, played during say heart contraction we also seen impulse conduction then also we have seen that is the maintenance of the blood pressure by the heart and and maintenance of the blood flow in our body I mean, why does this change occur? this change occur? because these changes occur due to say activity of the heart atrial contraction and the ventricular contraction I mean this Event suppose that when the atria is contracting, the main ventricular main ventricle also contracts side, side by side. Means here, say those events which are occurring during atrial contraction or during ventricle contraction, say they are repeated from say one contraction to the next contraction. That is mean that is the changes which are produced during one beat of the heart, they are say repeated in the next beat. Mean that is the events which are occurring from the beginning of the one event to the end of the second event that we are uh, second bit we call this say a by a very special term we could define it as a cardiac cycle the cardiac cycle is what it is nothing but the repetition of the events which is occurring say in one bit it is repeated in the next bit that is called as a cardiac cycle now here say now the what is the definition of this cardiac cycle the period from the beginning of one heartbeat to the beginning of the next is called as that is the cardiac cycle or the repetition of the sequence occurring from beginning of one heartbeat to beginning to the next beat is called as cardiac. What is this sequence? For example, so let us take the example of ventricular contraction. Now in the ventricular contraction we have observed that there occurs the opening of say that is the semilunar walls. Okay? Then also there occurs the closure of say that is the AV wall, there occurs the say that is the uh, what we call it as a flow of the blood from ventricles to say that is respect to arteries and so on. 
mean same time there occurs say due to closure and the opening of the wall say that is the certain say that is the movement of the blood occurs and that produces certain sound and that we call as the heart sound my point is that dear say with these events are repeated suppose they are doing one ventricular contraction they are repeated in the next the cyclic pattern and hence the repetition of the sequence occurring from beginning of one heart beat to beginning of the next beat is called as cardiac cycle or the cardiac cycle refers to the sequence of what are what is this sequence mechanical mechanical means what contraction of the heart and so on and electrical event means that is the say that is generation of the impulse and the propagation of this impulse and that is the recording what we call the ecg okay the electrical event which repeats with every heart it includes the phase of relaxation that what we call a diastole and the phase of contraction or system now what does it mean the cardiac cycle refers to a sequence of mechanical and electrical event which are repeated with every heart now when we are saying say atrial activity and ventricular activity it is very clear that ventricular atria will say that is contract and they will relax after that ventricle will contract and ventricular uh, ventricles will relax relax hence it includes hence we can say broadly in cardiac cycle it includes the two major event that we call as the relaxation the diastole of the heart and that is the phase of contraction that is what we call it as a, say that is the phase of system how much is the total duration of the cardiac cycle it is 0.8 second now this duration of the cardiac cycle is directly proportional to the heart rate now so suppose that now our say heart rate is say that 72 beats per minute means 72 beats are occurring within 60 second mean the same each beat consequent each beat occurs after the interval of approximately 0.8 second that is a time taken from the repetition for the repetition of the activity from one bit to the next bit is that is the 0.8 second and that is what we call it is the duration of the cardiac cycle it depends on it depends on that is the heart rate. hence you will find that the total duration of the cardiac cycle is 0.8 second it will vary accordingly suppose that if the heart rate is slow then you will find the duration will be same more for example if the heart rate is 60 beats per minute mean the duration of occurrence of each beat is say 1 second hence we can say here the total duration of cardiac cycle is say the 0.8 if suppose that if the heart rate is say the 100 beats per minute mean it is a say rapid heart rate you will find the duration will decrease there are two basic laws of the cardiac cycle what we say the atrial systole and the ventricular systole that will never overlap and atrial diastole and the ventricular diastole partly or now going to our this figure now let us assume that the all changes which are occurring in the cardiac cycle in the cyclic pattern in the cyclic pattern now you can see here a figure on the say that is slide okay in the slide what you will find that there are two circles outer circle and the inner circle a uh, outer ring or inner ring now outer ring indicates here that is the ventricular event and inner ring say the ring indicate that is atrial event. now this what is the significance of say that is the say the area marked with the red color and area marked with the blue color means say for example this red color indicate that is the ventricular contraction or ventricular systolic activity and the blue color indicates here that is the ventricular diastolic activity similarly <coughs> what you will find here say for the inner circle this which indicates here atrial event now the red color indicates here atrial systole and is followed by blue color mean that is the atrial diastole means here there are three compartments of the ventricular systole corresponds to say that is the seconds now 1 2 Three. Mean the total duration of this ventricular systole is about 0.3 second, and that of the diastolic activity there are five compartments: one, two, three, four, five. Mean that is total duration is same. That is 0.5 second. Mean that makes the total duration of say that is ventricular cardiac cycle is 0.8 second, and that of say that is the atrial event you will find that duration of say atrial systole is say 0.17 second. Uh, second and here point one second 
and that of say ventricular diastole there are seven compartments I mean there are the the point duration is ventricular sorry atrial diastole it is 0 0.7 second mean that makes the total duration of the atrial event is say that is the 0.8 second remember that just to say clarify here which is the event of say systole that is indicated by red color and this is the event of diastole which is indicated by blue color now what our first loss is atrial systole and the ventricular systole they never overlap they never overlap but however however what you will find that the ventricular diastole and atrial diastole is partly overlap mean that is the atrial systole overlap that is the say the ventricular diastole mean that is the our say that is the basic law of cardiac cycle we state that that is say that is the atrial systole and the ventricular systole never overlap and atrial diastole and the ventricular diastole partly overlap now in other words the physical changes during each heartbeat what are these physical changes which are included in each heartbeat that is depolarization number one contraction of the heart second movement of the heart which occurs uh, that is movement of the walls means AV walls and the semilunar walls and that causes the blood flow into the aorta and that causes changes in the arterial pressure volume changes that volume changes and the heart so mean these changes are occurring one bit they are say repeated in the other mean what we say that mechanical and electrical changes what does it mean that is each heart beat include say the electrical activity depolarization and mechanical activity contraction of the heart movement of the walls blood flow into the aorta changes in the artery pressure volume changes and say as i told you opening and the closure of the walls causes here the production of that is the heart sound which is which are repeated from one say that activity one bit to the other bit now how many events are there in the cardiac cycle there are two major events or uh, many of the times you will find there are four major events what or uh, what does it mean the major two events are atrial event and the ventricular event in the when we are saying the atrial event means includes here atrial systole and the atrial diastole okay duration of the atrial systole is here 0.17 second 0.1 second and that of the atrial diastole is 0.73 second and that makes the total duration is approximately 0.8 second now further you will find that atrial systole is say that it divided in two phases dynamic phase where the force of contraction of the atrial muscles is more and followed by a dynamic phase where the force of contraction is reduced and the duration of each phase is 0.05 second that makes the total duration of atrial systole as 0.1 second that it is followed by say that is the diastolic event atrial diastolic event and its duration is 0.7 seconds or 0.73 seconds and from that we can assess here the diastolic event is prolonged as compared to the your atrial system then atrial say diastole say our atrial event is followed by ventricular events now its total duration is 0.8 second and its so duration of the cardiac cycle is 0.8 second there are also one second two major events ventricular systole followed by ventricular diastole now say ventricular diastole systole duration is here 0.3 second and that of ventricular diastole that is about say 0.5 seconds that makes a total duration of duration of ventricular event as 0.8 second now remember here the ventricular events are more say that is complicated as compared to the atrial events now first coming to the say that is the ventricular systole now there are three major events what we call it as a isometric or the isovolumetric contraction duration that is that makes a duration of 0.05 seconds and it is followed by maximum ejection phase duration is 0.11 second and it is followed by that is last say part of the ventricular systole what we call it the reduced ejection phase its duration is 0.14 second there are three major event which are included in the ventricular system what is it isometric or isovolumetric contraction is a 0.05 second then maximum ejection phase that is a 0.11 second then say reduced ejection phase it is of duration of 0.14 second there are three major event which are included in the ventricular systolic activity 
Now coming to the ventricular diastole is duration of 0.5 second. And here you will find that there are five major events are included. That is protodiastolic phase. This is the event which is occurring after a complete contraction of that is the ventricle. Its duration is 0.04 second. Then it is followed by the other event isometric isovolumetric relaxation phase. The previous one, one that was contraction phase in the ventricular system and the duration is here is 0.08 second. Then it is followed by first rapid filling phase of duration 0.113 second and diastasis. Diastasis means what? The phase of slow filling that is about 0.167 seconds. And second is the means that the last safe filling phase or the second last rapid filling phase in duration is 0.1 second. I, I will once again say repeat it. Protodiastolic phase is of duration of 0.04 second. It is followed by isometric or the iso volumetric relaxation phase is 0.08 second. Then it is a first rapid filling phase that is duration is 0.113 second and the diastasis that is the phase of slow filling that is a 0.167 second and second rapid filling phase it is duration is 0.1 second. The terminologies of these phases, these phases which I have mentioned in the most of the book you will find it is similar but rarely you will find they might have say omitted one or two say event but these are the major events which are included in the say that is the cardiac cycle. And as usual, we know that the basic laws, atrial systole and the ventricular system never overlap, atrial diastole and the ventricular diastole partly overlap. Okay. Now the duration of say cardiac cycle. How much is the duration of the cardiac cycle? That I have told you 0.8 second depending upon the heart rate. If it is 75 beats or 72 beats per minute. The duration of the cardiac cycle is inversely proportional to the heart rate. The cardiac cycle duration increases with a decrease in the heart rate as I have explained and on the other hand it shortens or it is reduced with increasing heart rate. At a normal heart rate, I say approximately 75 bits per minute, one cardiac cycle lasts for 0.8 seconds. Now let us assume that under resting condition, systole occupies that is one third. Uh, one third phase or duration of the card that is the cardiac cycle and diastole occupies a two third of cardiac cycle duration. I mean that is of course a longer duration as compared to the your atrial event. We have observed that is the duration of say atrial diastole is 0.7 second and that of the ventricular diastole each say that is the 0.3 second. Okay and somehow here that makes here total duration of that is the say duration of that is the cardiac cycle. At an increasing heart rate, for example during an intensive muscle work, the duration of the diastole decreases much more than the duration of the systole. Remember that systole is not affected that much as compared to the diastole. Then, this is the same figure which I have shown. Now you can correlate it with say that is the shaded area. Okay. And from that you can just guess that is what do you mean by the cardiac cycle and what do you mean by that is say that is the various events of that is the cardiac cycle. Okay. Now how we are going to explain this? How we are going to explain this? Means we have observed that there are various changes are occurring. That is blood pressure changes are occurring, volume changes are occurring, there occurs say electrical changes are occurring before say act of the cardiac cycle. There occurs say that is the event of arterial blood flow and it also produces say that is the heart sound. Means here that these changes are produced in any cardiac cycle from one bit to the next bit. And it can be easily observed by a, a diagram, what we call a Weigel diagram. There are as usual there are x axis and y axis. The x -axis, y axis indicates here that all events which are occurring in the cardiac cycle I, I have just mentioned and the x-axis indicate the correlation of this all event with the time, say that is time duration. Now, now, coming to say this Weigel's diagram. Now this Weigel diagram, <coughs> Weigel's diagram, just uh, for your understanding. So this is Weigel diagram. I will explain you. Here say, that explains your blood pressure changes, that explains your ventricular volume changes, that explains your electrocardiogram with the ECG and also explains arterial blood flow and that is the 
हार सब बिफोर दैट सम ऑफ द आइडियाज मस्ट बी क्लियर इन आवर माइंड वॉट इज इट दर इज वन टर्म वॉट वी कॉल इज वेंट्रिकुलर एंड डायस्थोलिक वॉल्यूम दैट इज बी डी बी इट इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द ब्लड विच इज रिमेनिंग इन द वेंट्रिकल जस्ट बिफोर द ऑनसेट ऑफ वेंट्रिकुलर कॉन्ट्रेक्ट और दिस वॉल्यूम इज से दर कलेक्टेड वेन द वेंट्रिकल साफ रिलैक्सिंग and that is what we call as a ventricular end diastolic volume and its normal value is about say 120 to 140 mm then there is a second term what we call as a ventricular end systolic volume it is the volume of the blood which is remaining in the ventricle at the end of ejection ejection means what after contraction of the ventricle the volume which is remaining in the ventricle is called as that is the ventricular end systolic volume it is about 40 to 70 mm now there is one term what uh, what we call it as uh, i must have mentioned some of the time that is the stroke volume I mean that is the amount of the blood which is pumped or ejected with each contraction or with each beat that is what we call it as a stroke volume it equals to the say ventricular end diastolic volume minus ventricular end systolic volume if suppose that your ventricular end diastolic volume 120 and that of say that is a that is say ventricular end systolic volume is say we will take it as 50 mean that is the 120 minus 50 mean that is the stroke volume will be approximately minus 70 ml will be our stroke There is a, some little bit technical problem. You know what I was telling you? That is, the stroke volume is the volume of the blood that is ejected with each beat, and it equals to the say that is the ventricular end diastolic volume minus ventricular end systolic volume. Now there is one term you will come across say all the time that is ejection fraction. Now it equals the stroke volume divided by ventricular end diastolic. It is the ratio of stroke volume to ventricular end diastolic volume. If suppose that if we take the your ventricular stroke volume as a 70 ml and ventricular end diastolic volume is say 120 ml, then that will come in terms of say the percentage approximately 60 to 70 percent. But say this is the ejection fraction. This is must for any say normal functioning heart. But it can be determined by the technique of echocardiography and so on. But it declines markedly with ventricular dysfunction. When there is a ventricular dysfunction is there, you will find that ejection fraction is say that is reduced. Now coming to say this Weigers diagram, there are say Weigers Weigers diagram. Now here say this y-axis and this is x-axis. Now this y-axis indicates here the various event and x-axis indicates here say the time duration. Now just concentrate on say that is y axis. Now cardiac cycle indicates here blood pressure changes. Number one, it indicates so volume changes. It indicates here that is electrocardiogram. It indicates the production of the heart sound. It indicates that is flow of the blood and so. Okay. Now let us understand first that is the pressure changes which are occurring. Now which are these pressure changes which are occurring? These pressure changes are occurring in the atria. they are occurring in the ventricle they are occurring in the aorta okay mean these are the say that is the three changes mean these are three changes are occurring now you just give a look to this figure you can see here mean this part what is this three figures now what does indicate that is say the blue the blue color indicate that is the pressure change which is occurring in the left ventricle we are all the time studying this cardiac say that is cycle in the left ventricle why why not in the right ventricle because the pressure changes are less as compared to the left ventricle and it is about 1/6 of left ventricle and hence we are all the time studying here say volume and the pressure changes in the left ventricle now say this say that is the <coughs> the small curve which is recorded at the base is called uh, that is the 
it indicates the atrial pressure change we can directly study here the change which is occurring in the jugular venous pulse okay jugular vein as a jugular venous pulse similarly what we will find that say after atria the ventricle pressure will ch pressure changes will take place after the ventricular pressure changes say the major change that will occur in the artery that is what we call it as the aortic pressure change the arterial pressure change means in cardiac cycle it records say that is the three pressure changes what we call it as that is the atrial pressure change as shown in the figure and the blue one ventricular pressure change and that is say upper one say that is slightly coinciding with ventricular pressure change is that is the aortic pressure change or the arterial pressure change then fourth figure now this figure is very important it indicates here the volume change which is occurring that is in the ventricular and hence it is called as a ventricular volume change now this blue color you can easily identify it is nothing but it is a correlation ship of ecg with the events which is occurring in Uh, which are occurring in the cardiac cycle and this that after the sixth event is that is the event of heart sound which is recorded with a, a special type of instrument instrument what we call it as a phonocardiogram it is called as a phonocardiogram as it is shown that say that is we can record the three say heart sound then there will be four heart sounds are recorded but due to the instrumental say limitation we are recording here that is the three heart sound means what is this figure what is this figure once again say that i will say explain you that is this is the a vigus diagram which explains here there is the four uh, that is the three pressure changes as you can see top one middle one it is followed by second the red color it indicates here ventricular volume changes and it indicates here that is the followed by ecg changes which are occurring and last the sixth is the that is the phonocardiogram there is one mistake spelling mistake is there and that indicates here these are the changes which are occurring in the cardiac cycle now what is the significance of this all vertical lines all vertical lines now these vertical lines coincide with the time duration of the various say that is the event which are occurring in the cardiac cycle what are these events now you can see here say so many say that is the means uh, segment 1 2 3 4 and 5 now just for our example for your understanding what i am telling this is beginning of change which is occurring in the say ventricular pressure this say follow say this marker on the ventricle this blue color this is ventricular pressure change beginning in the first compartment this is the what we call as the that is the major event that is the atrial that is the systole then it is followed by now ventricular event now these are the ventricular systolic event what are these first is the isovolumetric contraction and it is followed by that is the ejection phase there are two phases of ejection rapid ejection phase followed by reduced ejection phase then here say it is now followed by that is the ventricular diastolic event here say that in which event is not shown proto diastolic event is not shown they have shown your direct isovolumetric relaxation phase then it is say followed by that is first that is rapid say inflow then phase of diastasis phase of then that is the say last the reduced filling phase I mean this completes here the total cardiac cycle beginning from this first compartment second third fourth fifth sixth and seventh now remember here say say ev the atrial systolic event is shown atrial diastolic event is not mentioned same time you will find that here say that is the volume changes which are occurring in the ventricle and we have to correlate this with the ecg and with that is the heart so with this heart so no now let us first say understand here first understand here that is the say the pressure changes let us understand here first say pressure change. how how do this all pressure change uh, that is occur how first how this cardiac cycle is say say beginning or commences or say it that is initiated the first say in the cardiac cycle first say major and most say the say primary event which occurs is the event of atria means atrial systole will occur how does say atrial contraction begin because it occur why does it begin because the sa node 
the first initial pacemaker which is present at that is lateral superior wall the superior lateral wall of say that is the atrium at the opening of that is the superior vena cap and that's why here the impulses are generated in the SA node and they spread over atria to cause the contraction okay then further what you will find that after atrial contraction the walls will open if they will close then ventricular contract ventricular will relax this event will be continued my point is that here say that is atrial contraction will begin, begin or the first part which will occur in the cardiac cycle is the activity of the atria and that is the atrial depolarization will occur due to that is the generation of the impulses of SA node and spreading over both atria that is at the both atria and this is what we call it as say atrial systolic phase now what happens here what, what is the situation when the atrial event occurs now just try to understand the volume of the blood is collected in the both atria second important thing is that AV walls are closed and semilunar walls are closed after depolarization after depolarization what must occur there must occur atrial contraction there must occur atrial contraction and in this figure follow this figure what will find that there is a peak is observed this is nothing but pressure now this pressure change is called due to the say that is contraction of that is the atrial atria and opening of AV walls and that causes here say inflow of the blood from atria to the ventricle the ventricles are say, filled with the blood which is being pumped by or pushed by that is the atria into the ventricular chip okay and in this process in this process remember AV walls are open AV walls are <coughs> now similarly there will occur a gradual fall in the say that is the contraction force of atria and that will of course you follow this figure you will find that there will occur say reduction in the pressure fall in the pressure of the atria now at the peak it is say that is the 7 to 8 mm in the left left atrium and that in the right atrium it is about approximately say uh, uh, that is the 5 to 7 mm of mercury okay now in this process, in this process, now in this process, now say that the atrial contraction, the atrial relaxation will be formed. Now ventricles are filled, now ventricles are filled. Now in this process, in this process, immediately say now the AV walls say are closed. Okay? Mean, now what is the situation now? The ventricles are filled with their fullest capacity of the blood and now here walls are, AV walls are closed and semilunar walls are closed, okay? And here, now ventricle is just like a, now a milk bag. Now just take the example of 500 ml milk bag. Now there is no any space left where you can add any, say, that the addition of the milk. Similarly, there is no any, say, say that is space now remaining in the ventricle. The blood can be, say, added. This is what we call, the, that is the isovolumic. Now I saw already, there is no change in the blood volume now which is present in the ventricle. And in this process, in this process, now in this process that acts, ventricle acts as that is the closed chamber. And that we call it as the isovolumic say, phase or isovolumic contraction or isometric contraction phase. I mean due to the field say volume of the blood in the ventricles. Means here what will happen, say that is the I mean from the apex to the base of the ventricle you will find that there will not occur change in the length of the muscle fibers okay and that's why it is called the isometric or isometric contraction means what the the length of the muscle fiber remains same but the change in the say muscle tension occurs now it is say isometric I mean there is a little bit say tension is developed from apex to the bed and that we call it the isovolumic contraction during this phase, during this phase, when say this phase is beginning, there occurs here the sharp closure of AV wall. Sharp closure of AV. This is the phase where gradually say ventricles say will say exert a pressure on the blood column and that blood blood column in the ventricle and this pressure reaches to the ATMM of mercury. This is say isovolumic contraction. This is the phase of say ventricular beginning of ventricular systolic activity 
And what happens next is that the say, same time the pressure reaches to the 80 mm of mercury as it is shown. Okay, remember that. Now in this process, now what I have told you, what I have told you, say there occurs the closure of AV wall. This closure is very sharp. And here, this is the phase where that is the first third sound is produced that is during the isovolumic contraction phase. When say that is gradually, now what is happening? Now what is happening? The force of contraction of ventricle is now increasing. And that will, co will cause, say now, that will say, say that is, uh, means that will cause more pressure of the blood in the ventricle or that will generate more say that is the pressure of the blood in the ventricle due to the muscle contraction and that will cause now here opening of these semilunar walls and that will cause ejection of the blood and that we call as the ejection phase that I will explain. My, my point is that now what is happening to the atrial pressure same time. Now here say AV walls are closed. Similarly when ventricles are contracting atria relaxing and here say now what is happening say the say that is same time atria also say is receiving the blood and here there occurs a gradual increase in the pressure of the atria why because here say in the isometric contraction in the isometric contraction here say that is the volume of the blood which is present in the ventricle is trying to push back towards the atria but it never reaches to the atria since why because AV walls are closed the second is that here these AV walls are pushed in the backward direction hence we find a gradual increase in the say that is the pressure of that is the atria now, what I was telling you now when say in the isometric contraction or isovolumic contraction of the ventricle what you will find that this pressure reaches to the 80 mm of mercury remember here in the sum of the books, we will find that this pressure which is mentioned is that 80 to 90 mm of say mercury. But, <coughs> but here, remember that here now the semilunar walls are open. They are even open. But there is say no momentum of the blood is developed. I mean there is no momentum of the blood. Blood say doesn't say move out of say that is the semilunar wall. Now here says it is say aortic walls open at this. But here say the, there will not occur say any flow from the ventricles towards the say that is the aorta. Or that is the pulmonary say that is the what we call is the pulmonary say that is the art. Why? Why? Because, because just, just this pressure is still less which is developed in the isometric say or isovolumic contraction in the ventricle this pressure has to exceed the pressure of the blood which is present in the aorta and that's why here what will happen say now further you will find there will occur actual say rapid contraction of the ventricles to the maximum force and now the pressure is more than that is the uh, which is developed in the ventricle is more than that of the pressure of the blood which is present in the aorta and this is the moment there will occur wide opening of the aortic wall and there will occur rapid rush or rapid ejection of the blood from ventricles towards say aorta and this is the first phase of the ejection and that we call it as a say rapid ejection phase which is not shown here that is rapid ejection phase but say and it reaches the peak of say 120 mm or say more than 140 mm of mercury of course this must be more than the pressure which is present in the semilunar say that is in the aorta I mean this must this pressure must be more this ventricular pressure must be more than the blood pressure which is present in the ventricle and now this pressure is not maintained for longer time this force of contraction is reduced in the second part and there will occur say that is the reduced amount of the blood volume will be say that will be ejected we suppose that during first phase 75 percent of the blood volume is say that ejected and the, in the latter part it is a say that is the say 25 percent of the blood volume is say ejected mean that is what we can what do you mean by that in the first part the force of contraction increases follow this arrow and it say that is now reduced now it is 
reduce. I mean that is we call the reduce injection. I mean just I will give you means here in the say now let us assume in the first rapid ejection force the first rapid ejection why the volume is more as it is said that <coughs> that the muscles say that is shorter shorter to their maximum length but not to the their complete length and say and still there is some space of the shortening for the muscle fibers is remaining and say that is completed in the second part that is reduce ejection force and that's why the force of contraction is less and the volume of the blood which is pumped is less okay and that's why here say now isovolumetric contraction phase is followed by rapid ejection phase and that is say the the reduce ejection phase. these are the two phases now what happens here next what happens here next here say that is in the atrial pressure now same time same time now here say av walls are closed in the say atria and same time when the say atria are contracting say there occurs the fall in the say that is fall in the what we call it as that is a fall in the blood pressure in the atria hence that is one peak is the this this is called as a wave this is called as a c wave and there occurs the fall in the pressure fall in the pressure now coming to the say this rapid ejection phase now the rapid ejection phase and that is the reduce ejection phase in the reduce ejection phase now what is happening here say as it is said say av walls close why do the av walls close av walls say close because now now just concentrate here and concentrate this peak now this say the at the peak the pressure is about 120 mm of mercury and here it is say about say that is approximately 100 mm now what does it mean it means that it means that this pressure of the blood which is present during this phase of the blood is less than the pressure which is present in the aorta. You are getting me? What I say, now the aortic pressure is less than ventricular pressure during say that is a reduced ejection phase. Now what will happen next? Now in cardiac cycle there will never occur backflow of the blood flow in any of the event. Now next what is happening here see now since not just the condition is that now due to the reduced ejection phase the pressure of the blood is less in the ventricle than in the aorta and there is a natural tendency of the say backflow of the blood due to the, from higher pressure of the aorta towards the left ventricle that is towards the left ventricle and here remember that the remember that this backflow which is coming now here say that closes the AV walls that closes the AV wall and here say aortic walls are closed the second important thing what is happening is that when the pains the pains are that is say that is the pains of these walls are say when they are closed same time the blood say which is flowing towards the ventricle when it is back flowing it strikes the say that is the walls at the say the at the behind or at the vents and here what will happen say it will regurgitate it will cause a bound say say bouncing of the blood towards the say aorta and that produces here notch and this is called as incisura it is called as incisura what we have seen we have seen here say that is the systolic atrial ventricular systolic event that is first is the isovolumetric contraction phase where you will find say that they will occur so build up of say that is the blood pressure up to 80 mm which we call opening of the aortic say walls and it will not cause still the flow of the blood but when it reaches to the maximum peak then the ejection occurs there are two phases rapid ejection phase and the slow ejection phase and we have seen same time that is the aortic walls are closed mean that i am also explaining here that is the temperature change which is now occurring now generally before say that is say that is the during iso say that is isovolumic contraction remember that here the pressure is somewhere in the aorta it is about say approximately 80 mm and that's why here momentum of the blood is not developed when it say the pressure increases more or equivalent to the 
say that is the ventricle when the ejection occurs and it is reduced that is during say reduced ejection time. What we have seen? <coughs> we have seen that is the atrial pressure changes, then arterial pressure changes and ventricular pressure changes. Means we have completed here that is what first atrial event that is say that is the atrial say that is the system. In the atrial system there are two phases that is dynamic phase and our dynamic phase of duration 0.05. Now why it is called the dynamic phase? Because the force of contraction is more in the dynamic phase and it is less in the second part and it is hence it is called as a, a dynamic phase. Means there is a say slower flow of a blood from atria to the ventricle. Now coming to the say that is the say prolonged activity of the atria that is the diastole that remains for 0.7 seconds then there occurs the beginning of that is the ventricular event that we call it as that is the ventricular systolic event that is first is the isovolumic contraction where the first heart sound is produced with the closure of the heart that is closure of the walls AV walls and here say then say the next is that is the say that is the two events which were actual say propulsion of the blood or movement of the blood which occurs from ventricles to the aorta that is in ejection phase. There are two phases of ejection, rapid ejection phase and that is the radius ejection phase. Okay, now I will stop here. Thank you for patient listening. Thank you very much.